Hello friends and welcome back. Today I have the Epiphone Les Paul Muse. And uh, yes, this muse inspired me to play something a little bit different than the typical classic rock blues stuff that I usually do. But hey, it can handle that as well. <laughs> Yes, as a good muse should, it should inspire you, and when we dig into this, you'll find there is plenty of inspiration in this guitar. Uh, this comes from Epiphone's new kind of brand philosophy of Inspired by Gibson, and uh, this is from their modern collection, and it is their take on some of the new modern advancements that Gibson is putting into their Les Paul line. So let's take a look. We have a mahogany body with a carved top maple cap on here. It is thinner, as you will see, a little bit thinner than we would expect from a Les Paul body, and it's chambered as well. So we've got a good deal of weight reduction on this guitar. Still very well balanced. It has a mahogany neck as well and Indian laurel fretboard on here that is just beautifully finished. I actually love the feel of it. Uh, standard 12 inch radius uh, that you would see on most Les Pauls, 24 and 3 quarter scale. The neck profile on here is what they call a custom C and a very nice profile. It feels to me a lot like what you would see on the 60s era Les Pauls. Uh, just a great feel to it. Um, what else do we have here? Let's talk about the lock tone stop bar and ABR two-piece bridge that we have on here. At the very top, we have a graph tech nut, nice addition, and especially these Grover 18 to 1 ratio tuning machines up on top. I've got two, you know, 69 and 71 Les Paul with the vintage original tuners on it. I am so tempted to put some of these Grovers on because these are just very nice tuners. To me, they're an upgrade from the vintage style Gibson tuners. I just really like them. Uh, they're responsive. They hold up well. Just a lot to like in this guitar. Okay, now let's get down to the nitty gritty and what is really behind this muse and the type of inspiration it can give you. And it has to do with these Alnico Classic Pro pickups that they have in the bridge and the neck. A very nice pickup set. Epiphone says that they base these off the wine specifications from the Gibson 57 Classics, but they included an Alnico 5 magnet in here. Um, they're not extremely high output. They've got a vintage output to them. I think the mid-range is a little bit more forward, which I do like on it, but the way that they have wired them and the tonal options they give you, that's where it's at. We have push-pull coil splits. Oops, this is the one that does something else. That comes next. Coil splits for the bridge down here and for the neck pickup here. And let's take a quick listen to what that gives us. This is the bridge pickup coil split. That's a good coil split tone. Okay, let's take a listen to the neck pickup, coil split. I had to play that lick again because I missed the note. Um, then, in the middle position here, with both pickups active, we can go with both coil split.
<laughs> very, very nice tone. And let's take a listen to the bridge pickup split with the neck uh, in humbucker. <laughs> And with the neck split and the bridge in humbucker. Just a great range of tones out of these. Now, to go back to this little mystery here. This is our phase switch. And of course, it's only active when you have both pickups active in the middle position here. This is the humbuckers out of phase. Still, that, that's a nice little quacky kind of sound to get out of a Les Paul. Um, some people refer to this as the Peter Green wiring. But let's see what it does once we start splitting the coils on these pickups. Out of phase, bridge pickup, uh, single coil, neck in a humbucker. <laughs> Another very unique sound. I do kind of like that, uh, more than I expected to. And now we have the next split, bridge in humbucker mode. Again, very nice. Now let's take a listen to them. Both split to single coils and out of phase. And one thing you'll notice about this, if you can hear a little bit of hum there, this is not a hum canceling position like you would expect in a Strat because these are not reverse wound. They're just out of phase with each other. So let's take a listen. <laughs> That's just fun. Okay, now, just quickly, I'm pretty sure you know what you, a Les Paul is going to sound like when we go to a higher gain setting. We've all heard that. But out of phase, it's just a very cool voicing. Uh, keeping it in the middle position, and this is going to be both pickups humbucking. <laughs> <laughs> That's just a very, very interesting sound. That would cut through. Uh, let's take a look at some of the other options we've got here while we're out of phase. This is going to be with the bridge split to single coil neck in humbucker. <laughs> Very nice cutting sound. Now we'll take a listen to the neck split and the bridge in humbucker. <laughs> I just didn't dig it on that. Okay, very quickly, like I said, you know what this sounds like. I'm going to go through just our typical Les Paul sounds here real quickly for you. And both in humbucker, this is both pickups together. And the neck 
pick up by itself. Just, I mean, that's, that's the Les Paul sound there. Great sustain on this guitar and everything I tried. Um, very quickly, I will go through just in single coil mode with a higher gain sound. Bridge, neck in single coil. Excellent. And both pickups, single coil. So you get everything I've shown you here. Great build quality, great components. Uh, mahogany body, neck, maple cap, these great tuners. Great sounds out of this, all for under $600. Um, yeah, kudos again to Epiphone. I love what you're doing this year. So if you've got any questions about this guitar or any other guitar, give the guys at moreguitars.com a call or visit our store, More Music, in Evansville, Indiana. These guys are the experts on every brand they sell, and it is their mission to match every player with the guitar of their dreams. So give them a call. And uh, until next time, y'all have a great day, and we'll see you soon.